So the question is how to get the most out of your home networks. Home networks are uh, confusing to a lot of people and they're not quite sure how to set them up and, and what to do. Of course, the most important thing is to be able to connect your connected devices to the home network so that they can get on the internet and uh, they can talk to each other and you can share information and uh, media types uh, among the different devices on the network. Once they're connected, you want to be able to keep them connected and maintain and uh, repair your network. If you know one of the connections goes down or you add another device to it, you want to be able to do that very simply and easily uh, because once you get that network going, you'll find it hard to live without it. Uh, third thing you want to do is you want to be sure that your network is secure. If there's uh, you know, people, if it's wireless and people are getting on maybe from you know another house or an apartment, uh, you want to be able to know that it's happening and uh, prevent that from happening, certainly. And you also want to be able to uh, make sure that the content that's on your network is secure. So one of the key things uh, that's happening that makes this much easier going forward than it's been in the past is software that goes out and can scan your network and uh, make it easy to do all those different things. And just today, in fact, uh, Cisco announced a new version of software called Network Magic 5.0. And it's a suite of products that uh, works on uh, different versions, work on the PC and on the Mac. And there's an upgrade for the software that comes with uh, our Linksys wireless routers as well. And what the software does is it uh, makes it much, much easier for you, you don't have to be technical at all, to uh, connect and share so you can get your devices connected to the network, share the content. And when you turn on a new device, like let's say you bring home a game system and you turn it on, the software will recognize that there's a new wireless device uh, in the area and it'll ask you if you want to connect it. And so it makes it very easy to connect something that might not be that easy to connect uh, otherwise. It'll optimize the performance on the network as well, and it gives you uh, various kinds of statistics. So you could see, for example, that uh, maybe one of your kids was doing a lot of downloading and it might, might cause you to look into that and see if that was uh, something that was good or not. But, you know, lets you know that it's happening and lets you control it. In addition to being able to see things like how much people are downloading, you can also get visibility into all the devices that are connected up to your network. And actually, it's kind of surprising sometimes, like in my home, I found out I actually had like nine different devices connected to my home network. And if you would have asked me, I probably would have said, well, let's see, I got, you know, two computers and a game system, and yeah, I wouldn't have recognize all the devices that were connected to the network. So it's a good way to keep track of what's going on in your home and uh, keep everything up to date. So if you're looking for features that help you do the uh, connection and sharing and optimize and repairing and uh, maintenance on your network, you might look for software products that are out there like Network Magic.